What's up guys? Welcome back. This week we're going to be seeing what this fuss is about. It's going to be popping into another British place. Going to be getting some Brazilian style empanadas and turning up the heat in a Latin kitchen. If you guys have been enjoying the content, like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. First up is to Cocina Latin Kitchen. We swung out here to this little area of Osceola Parkway by Hunters Creek to check out some of the new offerings they're doing. Now they do have a bunch of all the normal stuff. And I can tell you right now, things like the pernil, the pollo guisado, these meals were just looking incredible in the back getting prepped, especially the slow cook stuff. We went in to get some steak and fish and couldn't turn down any of the sides either like this is all just like a really home style kitchen everything's getting made fresh to order and even you know big meals like this this giant fried fish which is one of the main things we've gone in there for is just all prepped when you order it it's battered it's thrown in the fryer i mean this thing is as you can see a really big fish now I don't eat fish, but my friend got to enjoy this, and she was really impressed. There's a lot of meat on this thing. It's it's not something that wouldn't be feeding uh, a bigger family, but for me, I had to go for the skirt steak. Throw that bad boy on a skillet, give it a little bit of that fire. The thing smells amazing. It looks amazing. Toss a little chimichurri on it, and it's money. Haka is at the Florida Mall. It's a Brazilian place that's now offering a, the Brazilian empanadas, all you can eat, $22.90 a person. These are pretty good size empanadas. Um, you know, you get the size like the Ponte Queijo, which is that cheese bread with that really gooey center. I love that stuff. But uh, it also comes with the fried yuca and a side of fries as well. If you guys are really into the Brazilian flair, you want to try one of these caipirinhas. These are a famous tropical Brazilian drink. They're really sweet. They have them in a bunch of different flavors. Like I had a mango passion fruit, so I just had one of the traditional ones. And we've gotten a slew of different empanadas, which we naturally started off with dessert empanadas. Uh, a dulce de leche, which is like that caramel filling, as you can see there. And then we had to get the Nutella. I don't know how you turn down Nutella. I love that stuff. And it's just, yeah, these things are hot and juicy. With a great variety of different meat and cheese and veggie combinations, you can keep yourself from getting bored. I want to, you know, they have about a dozen of them and they're all really good. Everything we tried was really good. Uh, Hakka's got a very nice aesthetic to it. And if you're in for the night out, it's a great place. There was some live music, good drinks, good times all around. Now, if you're not so much for the night out, but more of the morning out, like myself, the Best of British Cafe over in Davenport was a really fun stop, especially on the weekend. You know, the matches are going on in the background. So you're able to kind of sit there, grab an early beer, watch a bit of the soccer matches. But most importantly, Get yourself a full English breakfast. This is that beans, fried mushrooms, fried tomatoes, rashers, bangers, and a fried egg on the side. Get that egg nice and runny, mix it in with the beans, put it on toast. Pro tip, it is delicious. And they do a great job here, especially with the environment. Very friendly, welcoming, and the food tastes very authentic. Now Taste of Chengdu has their new place in Baldwin Park, so we swung up there, got some of those build your own bow, which were pretty nice. They're, they're nice little bows. Uh, there were a few other things we'd got. We'd gotten one of the soups. The boys really seemed to end up enjoying this soup. A uh, little mind blown by it, in fact. But that was just a, an egg drop soup. I myself got a pork belly dish, which in the pictures looked fantastic, but when I got it, it came off as more of a wet bacon vibe. Uh, the crispy beef, on the other hand, was phenomenal. That was a really good dish. Got back over to the World Food Trucks on 192 to try a different truck. There's about 30, so 
had to try this Venezuelan you know, burgers and different things that they're doing there on the grill. This burger and you know an additional side of the Kenyans were an absolute win. A uh, buddy of mine got some bean chos and some uh, passion fruit juice from another truck. Also great. Thanks for watching again guys. The content is going to be changing up a little bit more soon. So thank you for bearing with me while I kind of find my groove here. Uh, if you've been enjoying the content, like I said, drop that like, drop a comment, give me a shout out, let me know what you guys think and what you want to see.